Today on the channel, it's been a fortnight since we've unboxed Fortnite, but today we're unboxing Tomato Head and the Brat. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Fortnite unboxing and review, a very rare occurrence uh, on the channel. But today we've got the tomato head and we've got the brat, the brat, the brat, the brat. Choose your own adventure. But for all your Fortnite needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So today we're looking at old school Fortnite figures as these have been sitting in my collection probably for about a year now. I just have not gotten around to unboxing them. For some reason, I picked them out and I said, we're going to do it today. And these are the Jazzwares version. As we do know, Hasbro has taken the Fortnite license over and are now currently making the Fortnite figures. All honestly, I prefer the packaging on these as the new ones have very little plastic, mostly cardboard. I understand uh, the uh, environmental issues and all that kind of stuff is creating that. But just something, I'm old school. You guys know it and probably a lot of you guys are too. We prefer our packaging like this. Great for mint on card, great to open up you get the story but it is what it is times they are a changing bob dylan told me that for the first time in 1993 he said kyle i gotta tell you something i said this a long ago and i'll bring it back the times they are a changing and that's exactly what happened so we're gonna unbox these we're gonna do this review like we do all the other ones on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there we're gonna start off with the brat the brat the brat the brat what is it? It's a play on words. It can go either way, and I think this is absolutely fabulous. I always say it. I know absolutely nothing about Fortnite. Never played it in a million years, but I do love these food-inspired characters. I'm a grocery hall of famer, some would say. I've been around the grocery industry for 20... Ooh, seven years, something like that. It's just absolutely crazy. It's maddening. But I did start when I was like 14 years old at a grocery store working. So I've been around. I've been around. And guess what? Kyle has never been unemployed since the day he turned 14. Believe you me, never been without of a job since he was 14 years old. Can you imagine? Oh, child labor laws. Where were you back then? Uh, but anyways, the brat, the brat. These food-related characters always do pique my interest. We unboxed Beef Boss and Peely and uh, some of the other ones. Fish Stick. We unboxed some of those guys on the channel already. So go back and check those videos out if you're interested. But this brat, brat one, very interesting. Brings me back to my time working at Oscar Mayer way back in the day out of college. Uh, the Wienermobile, of course, very famous many a time. Spent in the Wienermobile. And the brat reminds me of just... Oscar Mayer, America's favorite hot dog back in the day, and still is, I believe. Uh, but all kinds of accessories with these Fortnite figures, as you guys can see right there. You got a even a brat there. Is that kind of like, uh, he's like eating his own kind a little bit, almost uh, like a cannibal. I don't know what's going on there, but tons of stuff. You got a really hip version right there. He's listening to the rap music like all the young kids love. I'm sure that's what it is. Uh, we've got him there, a lot going on in that package. Can't wait to dive through these accessories. Same little glamour shot on the side, Fortnite in blue, same thing on the other side. And then the back, no blurb, no explanation, no explanation needed on this brat, uh, that's for sure. And then on the bottom there, you got a little cross-sell action, you guys know I love that. I see a P1000, that's Peely 1000, for those keep dragging home. The Ghoul Trooper, kind of cool. Uh, Drift, Fish Stick, my buddy, and then Doggo. I almost regret not getting Doggo. Uh, he's kind of an interesting one. A pug, uh, just kind of an interesting character. You guys know I'm a dog lover. But the brat says, relish the wins. Man, I'm here for those crazy puns all day long. I'm here for it. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to relish the wins as we get the brat, the brat out of the package. See you later. Is he a brat like a brat? Or is he a brat like we're going to eat him like a brat? Nobody knows for sure. Oh, he comes with a cooler, 35 points of articulation, an extra head, two weapons, a hat, and a crossbow. Man, oh man, this is a fabulous, fabulous figure. Fabulous already. I just love the accessories. And you can use these accessories with other stuff. Use it with your Marvel Legends. Use it with your Ninja Turtles. And I'm not sure where I'm going to display him yet, but some of these guys, I smoke and mirrors them into a, a Marvel Legends street scene. You know, Spider-Man's there, and then there's a fish stick hanging out on the corner or something. Uh, I do that from time to time. And let's get all this stuff out like we usually do here. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, he's going to fight me here. He's got glasses on. Oh, come on. Boy, hard. And we lost him. See you later. There he goes. He's on the floor. And all right, we got the old brat. He was being a brat in the package is what he was being. 
Uh, but very, very interesting. Very tight joints on this guy. Like we said, 35 points of articulation. You got the, man, he's got some tight joints. Nice hard ratchets. Like it though for kids, great playability here. But you got the bicep swivel, you got the double jointed elbows going on. He's got a wrist watch because doesn't all brats need to tell time what time they're done? That's how they know. Uh, the wrist move, of course. He's got the old school Marvel Legend Toy Biz uh, hand articulation on the fingers. You got that going on. Of course, the toe articulation. Everybody goes wild about the toe articulation. Uh, you've got the big ball joints there at the ankle, a little bit of a boot cut or ankle cut, I guess, double jointed knees, thigh swivel as well. Uh, you got the waist, it gets a little bit blocked, but this brat, the bun, does move a little bit, so that is kind of nice, moves out of the way if need be. And then, uh, let's see, this head removable here. I'm not sure, it's supposed to be, but how hard is it without breaking the glasses? Oh, come on. Whoa, there it goes. All right, so you can't take the face off if you are so inclined, and then put the other one on. A little bit of a challenge to get in there, though. There we go. Maybe not. Hi, I'm, hi, I'm new here with these Fortnite figures. They're, they're fighting me the whole way. Oh, man, he is fighting. What is going on here? What are we doing? Getting the what are we doing of the day going on early here. And I can't get this face back in, or this other face back in. Well, he's just going to have to kind of be there. I'm going to have to maybe even heat it up a little bit. Or maybe I'll just put the other face back on. How about, huh? That, that might work, too. And maybe it won't go back in for me. There we go. That slides in really easily. So I don't know if mine's a little warped or a little bit off or what. But uh, very good. He's got sunglasses like most brats are. It's hot in the summertime. It's hot when you're on the grill. He's got some torn jeans going on. Almost looks like he needs to be, have a skateboard of some kind. Uh, got very Johnny Knoxville-esque shoes going on. Almost like Converse's, but not quite. Got really crazy double-jointed elbows. A lot of movement in those bad boys. And then he does look like a hot dog. He's got the little tie at the very end where they cut him, of course. And then you got the buns. It looks like they grilled the buns a little bit. He's got mustard all over his chest. I'm not a mustard guy. No mustard on my hot dogs and hamburgers. I'm not a big mustard guy at all. Uh, so he does have that. So very cool, very food. Very reminds me of the old Food Fighter days, if you remember that toy line back in the day. Uh, a lot of remembrance of that a little bit. He does come with a hat. Hat fits on him. What's on the hat? I don't know. It's got some kind of a logo, like a kind of a skull of some kind of animal or something. But he's got that. I bet he could be really hip and wear it backwards. Oh, yeah. Living the dream as any hot dog would. Put the hat forward. Put it backwards. Get the extra head with more of a kind of a weird look to him. This is more smiley. This is more frowny. That's really the only differences there. Then, like I said, we do get this cooler. Oh, it does not open up, though. I thought it did. It says jammies on it. And then it's got... I don't know if that's a rag or what that's supposed to be. And then it's got a bunch of soda cans, I presume. Soda cans. Probably not beer, but you got that going on. But it's cool to have a cooler. You could use that with a lot of different things. Uh, you know, if you're doing a toy setup with some pictures and stuff, put that to the side, the locker room, something like that. Go for it. Uh, then we get a nice uh, rifle there. Nice coloring, a nice decor on this one as well. It's got that classic kind of leathery look to the handle and right up there at the top. And then you got the silver of the gun. Nice accents, nice... Uh, Nice look to this one. So you got the rifle if you want him to have an old school rifle. And then you got more of a zany gun here. It looks almost like a grappling hook of some kind if he needs to grapple a building or do something along them lines. And then the old famed crossbow. Oh, I thought there was some articulation in this crossbow, but there's not. I thought this was going to fold down, but it isn't. Uh, it was just a crossbow, so if you want this, you can always use these Fortnite weapons with other people too. I've seen people use these with their GHL classified, stuff like that. So you can choose your own weapon adventure with some of these. And then the one I'll have him use, and of course not removable, but it's just a, a big hot dog or a brat here on a stick. Uh, very cool. You got the mustard. They love mustard apparently in Fortnite. No ketchup needed, no relish, none of that. Uh, it's just uh, he can have that as his weapon, which is kind of weird. Uh, a little bit of cannibalism there, I would say. I mean, you wouldn't think uh, a walking, talking sausage or bratwurst would be eating a bratwurst or a hot dog. You would think that it's, it's my family here. It's my family. But no, they're, they're all in. They're all in doing it. Uh, but an interesting thing. And once again, you could use this with something, make a zany Marvel scene or something. A lot of good accessories with these Fortnite figures, as we've seen in the past and we see now. But as far as the food-related ones... I'm here for it. I like these zany off-the-wall ones, and I do like me the brat, the brat, whatever you want to call him. I'm here for it. I'm here for it all day long. So there's the brat. Now we're going to turn our attention to Tomato Head. Now, Tomato Head, uh, a little bit of a pizza-inspired one is kind of how I viewed this. He does have pizza lapel 
on his shirt, as I am known in some circles as a pizza king of my pizza reviews. If you are a member of the Patreon, we're going to have a quick weekly video pizza review, because I'm eating pizza at least once or twice a week. you got to keep up appearances in the game. So uh, taking you guys in and scoring some pizza, usually my daughters, my wife, Lemmy, somebody's here, they're going to score it along with me, trying every frozen pizza you could ever want, and then restaurant pizza as well. So follow along if you're interested in the pizza reviews. They are a Patreon weekly exclusive, as well as the weekly Lemmy content that's exclusive, and so much other stuff. I mean, this video, uh, I don't know when it's going up on YouTube, but I bet you it was on my Patreon probably a month before it went up on YouTube. That's my guess, <laughs> but we'll see. The Patreon, check the link in the description below. There's old Tomato Head, tons of accessories there, and of course, he is a Tomato Head. And people always say to me, Kyle, how come you hate tomatoes? Because that's like the only food I can't eat. Like, I put it in my mouth and I have to spit it out. Just Everybody has that food they just can't get down. For whatever, it's just fresh tomatoes for me. Slice of tomato, anything like that, I just can't do it. I don't know what it is, but something just makes me yak it up. I just can't do it, tomato. Uh, but everybody says, well, you like pizza sauce, you like spaghetti sauce. Well, come on. That's totally different than a fresh tomato out of your garden or whatever. Totally different story. That's what my grandpa used to always say to me, and he'd get them out of his garden, and he'd just be eating them like an apple, and I was just uh, riveting in pain. Just couldn't believe he would do such a thing. Anyways, not about that. It's about this figure. So there's all the accessories there. You get a little glamour shot. His name, of course. This is a Jazzwares one from prior years. What year did this come out? This has been out a while, I think. 2019. So this is a couple years old. This has been sitting in my collection for quite some time. Glad I'm finally getting around to it all these years later. I don't know if anybody's interested, but you know what? I entertain myself half the time anyways. Big glamour shot of him there. I'm sure it's got a funny blurb like the brat the brat had. Cross sell down below. Who's in this set here? Uh, Leviathan, Abstra, Abstra Cat, Jonesy, DJ Yonder, and Valkyrie. These do nothing for me. I didn't pick up any of those. Tomato Head, extra saucy. I'm here for that. I'm here for it. He's extra saucy. He's ready to go. But is he ready to come out of the package? That's the million dollar question. I just got to go in like a, a crazy person. Uh oh, we're losing stuff. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Plastic Prison, we did lose a tomato. Oh, the bane of my existence. The tomato. Uh, but there he is in the plastic prison. All kinds of stuff going on here. I love it. I'm here for all these accessories. Like I always say, we can always mix and match these with some different things if, if we're so inclined. Pull that out. Pull him out, maybe. Maybe. There it is. And there it is. See you later. And I just saw something here on the Brat. The Brat. Uh, his cooler does fit in the back of his back. So it's like a backpack for his cooler. So the more you know, folks, the more you know. All right, let's get down to the old uh, Mr. T tomato Head or Tomato Head himself. Got a long range rifle here. This always looks weird to have a guy with a tomato head to have a, a weapon like this. This looks like uh, just a foreign type rifle of some kind. Got a little white wrapping there, just making it really look uh, official. So we got that going on. Oh, I like this one. This big old is this a machine gun. Uh, Kyle doesn't know his weapons, but this looks like something uh, out of a, a movie, like a mobster movie or something almost. So a really good gun here. So you get some really cool guns you can use with other people, mix and match, and then you get some zany stuff. You get a pizza backpack here. So this is very reminiscent of like a Domino's delivery bag or a Pizza Hut delivery bag. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. So very fitting for a backpack for Tomato Head here. And then you do get his weapon, the pizza cutter. So he can shoot you in the face or he can slice you up with this pizza cutter. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, brown splatter is on here. I'm not sure this brown color coming off my pizza. That looks a little strange. I would have liked to see this red because then you could say, hey, it's pizza sauce or it's the blood of his opponents. You could have went either way with it. But it is an actual pizza cutter that rolls like that. I think that is very cool. This would be a great weapon for... Uh, um, Nick Gage or even Matt Cardona maybe they'd want to use one of these maybe I could put this with their wrestling figure they could be set all ready to go there and then you get this what is going on here interesting so you get oh I guess it's so he could hold them in his hands they got spots in these so they hold in the hand and it's just a straight up tomato so once again, you could use this with whatever you want. If you're setting up a food table for some picture photography or something, uh, you could put this on the table. Hey, there's a tomato there. Or there's this container. It's like a, a mason jar type thing. with I don't know, if blue liquid. Who knows what this is? But once again, you set up a table, like wrestling table. You put a bunch of food on it. Here's a, a catering table. Will be great for figure photography, stuff like that. And then, of course, they do put the little things in there. So then you can put it in his hands. And I think that is a very cool way to go. Uh, I, I do like that a whole lot. I think that is neat. Uh, so we can put that there. 
And then we get an extra head for him, and this is a crazy head. Uh, this almost looks like some uh, pizza mascot from like a, a local mom and pop pizza place, but he's got a crown of uh, forks and spoons. I even see sporks in here. When a, a fork or a spoon isn't enough, you call in the spork. Like if you're getting coleslaw at KFC, uh, he's got some of that. He's got a big mustache and a smiley face. Uh, just a very interesting one. I'm going to go with his regular head, though, that's on him. I think that looks a lot better. Uh, but it looks just like a tomato with a mustache and a smiley face. What more could you want? But then he's got skin, like human skin color on his fingers and his neck, you can see. Uh, so that is a little uh, kind of disturbing a little bit. I'm sure you could pop his head off and you could put somebody else's head on there if you really wanted to. Uh, but then he's got the nice uh, kind of uh, referee type striped shirt going on. Very reminiscent of Happy Joe's. If you live in the Quad Cities, Iowa, uh, a little bit of Illinois and stuff, everybody knows Happy Joe's. It was a childhood, or not childhood, college year buffet staple for me at Iowa State University back in the day. Uh, they used to have a Happy Joe. It was like three ninety nine. all you could eat pizza. It was great for us college kids for lunch. Uh, but the Happy Joe guy would wear like a referee type outfit like this, which is very, uh, a lot of pizza places kind of have that referee type gimmick going on. Uh, I guess Tomato Head is no different. And then he's got some bandanas on here. Like he's a, was, I heard the Rockers were his favorite tag team back in the day. And the Rock and Roll Express, of course. So he has some of those to pay homage. Uh, we got all the articulation we got with the brat. So his hands do move. You got all kind of double jointed elbows and then some. The knees, things like that. An interesting teal outfit underneath. Uh, I don't know. Does it tie in or does it clash? I, I'm not the best at matching, uh, but it does look a little interesting. It feels like it clashes. I'd almost like to see him in more of the referee stuff throughout, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, and then down at the bottom, he's got his big tactical, like, weaponized boots here, like army combat boots. And then he's got the shin guards, like he's going to be a catcher. Or he's just uh, going to be in for quite the firefight. Uh, he does have those big ankle things going on, the big ball at the end. That does take my eye away from things a little bit, so I'm not the biggest fan of that. Uh, but I do like the dynamic with these figures where you can have them um, crazy, weaponized, crazy people. Like, they would be great as a gang robbing a bank, and you got Spider-Man to save the day, and it's like the Food Fighter gang. you got Beef Boss, you got Peely, you got Tomato Head, you got Fish Stick. Maybe you throw Frogman in with them, and it could be a wild, zany crew. That's kind of how I'm going to display them and do that. Uh, so there's something comical about them, but then some darkness deep down. That's kind of how I look at some of these Fortnite figures. And I, I do think that's interesting. Now, Hasbro, as we know, I talked about earlier, took over the Jazzwares, or took over the Fortnite license from Jazzwares. And uh, I feel like Jazzwares has not went as crazy with the figures. We don't have really zany, crazy figures. And maybe they're waiting. Maybe they're going to redo some of these, and they just want to put some time in between. Uh, once again, I don't know Fortnite enough. Maybe there's a lot of new characters to Fortnite all the time, so they already got people they need to make. I don't know, but maybe if you guys do play Fortnite or know about Fortnite, what other zany food characters could we see? Is there any really cool figures, knowing what I'm into, that we might see down the road that I would really like? If you know, let me know down in the comments below. And then, of course, you made it this far. You might as well like this video and hit the old subscribe button. Hit the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video. We got videos all the time. As I talked about earlier, my Patreon is live. It is going. Check the link in the description below. You can get a lot of videos way earlier. You can get a lot of bonus content and you can support the channel if you like what you see of course and then you can get a hold of me at sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson and progressingtees.com pick up a t-shirt support the channel so an interesting Fortnite unboxing one of our final ones i think we got maybe two more to do and then i could be done with Fortnite figures we'll see if that ends up happening or not uh, but stay tuned for that on the channel and then uh yeah i'll catch you guys very very soon so for the tomato head and the brat, the brat, the brat, I'm Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.